I'm Reuters columnist James Saft. This morning's surprisingly good payrolls figures probably won't influence the election, but they may well explain it. Across the board, it was pretty positive. Strong job numbers, revisions up, labor force partici participation up, unemployment ticks up, but that's driven by people getting back in the hunt. On the whole, if you think Obama was going to win, and I think he probably was, this isn't going to change your mind. So that moves us forward to what happens after the election, and people are going to rapidly be focusing on what this means for the Fed, because the Fed is pretty much the force that's supporting markets where they are. I actually think this might put risk assets in a fairly sweet spot. We've got a picture of a gently recovering job market, but if you look at the underlying data, you know, prices were up only 2% in a year, wages just up 1.6%. There's no inflation pressure there. That means the Fed's going to be free to keep their foot on the gas for a little while until they see follow through on the jobs numbers. That'll probably be good for stocks. My anticipation of what happens in the next week is that we move to the election, Obama wins, people worry about the Fed, they ultimately dismiss those worries, and we move on to the next issue, which is going to be the fiscal cliff and the bargaining that happens after the election.